The arum is part of the Ariceae plant family, a genus of low growing tuberous plants. And in this video, we'll be talking about the largest of them all. The Titan arum isn't just the largest of its family, it's also the largest flowering plant in the world, growing up to three meters tall. Locally, this plant is known as Bunga Bankai. Bunga means flower, and Bankai can be translated as corpse, cadaver, or carrion. This is down to the fact that it emits a rotten flesh like odour when in full bloom. Its scientific name, Amorphophallus titanum, comes from the ancient Greek amorphos, meaning without form or misshapen, phallus, Greek for erect penis or something resembling such an image, and titan, which means giant. The titan arum is endemic to the island of Sumatra in Indonesia, where it grows in rainforests on limestone hills. This plant rarely blooms in cultivation, only producing a flower after four to five years. The success we've had here at Painton Zoo is down to our skilled gardens team and their careful repotting procedures of these plants. The repotting procedure involves cutting away the old growth, unearthing and washing the corm before going back into another new pot ready for the next cycle. The life cycle of these giant plants is rather fascinating. A dormant corm rests underground, waiting to begin a new cycle. From here, it can go one of two ways. One, when flowering, a spike emerges from the corm after a dormant period. This spike will grow and roughly a week before opening, the frills on the spathe can be seen. The fully blooming flower attracts pollinators through its stench. After a day, the flower will wither and the berry-like fruits grow out and birds help disperse the seeds by eating them. The spathe dies back after two to three months and the plant becomes dormant again. Route number two, the spike emerging from the corm grows into a huge leaf with complex leaflets. The leaves gather energy from the sun and store that energy in the corm way back down below. They will then fall over and die after 12 to 18 months. The plant then becomes dormant again, ready to begin a new cycle. The smell emitted from these massive flowers has been analysed. The spadix, the tall centre part of the bloom, emits the following chemicals. Dimethyl trisulfide, found in the smell from cabbage and Limburger cheese. Dimethyl disulfide and triethylamine, producing the smell of rotting fish isovaleric acid, the smell of sweaty socks, benzyl alcohol producing the sweet floral scent, phenol which has an antiseptic medicinal smell, and indol smelling of feces. This unpleasant amalgamation of aromas is designed to help the plant reproduce. As mentioned previously, these smells attract pollinator insects. Insects like carrion eating beetles and flesh flies. To accompany the foul smell, the inside of the spathe, or the unfurling petals, we might say, of the bloom, is a deep red colour. This imitates the flesh that its insect pollinators are used to laying their eggs in. These impressive plants were first introduced to Western horticulture by Italian botanist Eduardo Bacheri. The tubers that he sent to Florence died. Some seeds survived though, and a single seedling was sent to the Royal Botanic Gardens Kew, and that flowered in 1889. Unfortunately, the destruction of the rainforest of Sumatra is drastically affecting the number of Titan arum in the wild today. And there she go. For this reason, the Titan arum is listed as endangered by the IUCN. This makes the cultivation work conducted at botanic gardens worldwide incredibly important for the conservation of this plant species. It's a green world we live in, and lucky we are that it is. Yet how few of us realize the significance of the plants which make it green. We hope you have enjoyed this video about these awesome plants. If you've learned something new from watching, go ahead and leave your favorite fact in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and click on that notification bell to keep up to date with all our new content. 
For now, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again.